Um, hi to my Portland Public School friends. Um, today we are doing a video following the food recovery hierarchy series that we're doing here. Um, and this video is going to be about feeding animals using your food scraps from home. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Hannah. Um, I'm a student intern over at the George J. Mitchell Center for Sustainability Solutions. And I've been working on this food waste education program that you might be seeing in your school right now. Um, and I'm here today with Lena, who is going to be talking to us about what she does to feed her farm animals with food scraps. Yeah, hi everyone. My name is Lena. I'm an environmental educator at EcoMaine. Um, so I teach folks about recycling trash and composting, um, but I also have a small farm. So we're gonna take a look at my farm and see how I um, use my food waste and some local food waste in town to feed my animals. Yeah. So as, if you've been following along with our series, then you've probably watched the video on reducing your food waste in your school lunches. Um, and next we're talking about how feeding food scraps to animals is also a solution to reducing food waste. So what you may not know is that many animals can eat a lot of our food scraps and that even the farm animals can eat it too and a lot of different farm animals. So Lena is going to explain a little bit more about what kinds of food the animals eat, um, what kind of animals eat what foods and if this is healthy for the animals. Yeah, all right, so let's take a peek. Uh, okay, so my husband and I collect food waste in our house and we also pick up food waste from a local restaurant. Um, so every morning we take our food waste and our dog outside to help um, feed our animals. Uh, usually our first stop in the morning is to our rabbits who can really only get a few types of food waste like greens, like lettuce, um, and some yard waste like dandelions and some flowers um, because they have really sensitive stomachs. So we don't want to give them anything like bread or um, even fruit things uh, because they're too sweet. Uh, but then we take our food waste over to our chickens, <laughs> which can eat a lot more things. Um, they can eat any sort of fruit or baked good or um, things like that. So we give them a ton of different things um, to keep them happy and keep them fed and also to keep them occupied. You can see that they really like to dig around and scratch around in the food waste and play around with it too, which is kind of fun for them. Um, and the other thing you'll notice here is that they are out on grass, which means that as they're eating this food, they're also pooping, right? And when, uh, when they poop, they're also fertilizing that, that grass. And what's cool about where they are is they're also on the grass that we're gonna turn into hay which will be used as food and as bedding for them in the winter. So they're kind of fertilizing what they'll be using later in the year. Um, and we also are able to take some of their poop and put it in our compost, which is really nice. So every time they eat this food waste, their stomachs are decomposing it just like a compost pile would, but a little bit quicker than that. Um, so we also take the waste from our garden and we bring it over to them um, for the same reasons, because they're able to have some fun messing around with it, but they also break it down quicker than just throwing it right into the compost. Um, so we give them that, and then you can see this is the next day after giving them that food waste that they've pretty much eaten all of that. And so we try to do it as much as possible um, every few days, get that over to them. <laughs> and in the days that we can't give them food waste, we'll give them some grain and it usually takes them a lot less time to go through that grain if we're also giving them food waste, which is nice. It saves us money from having to feed them all the time and it's healthier for them and more fun for them to pick through food waste and from your garden waste than it is to just have grain. So we're also able to take the poop and all of the like remnants of the food waste. So any skins or um, crumbs and things that they don't want over to our compost pile. Um, and our compost pile also has the, um, the bedding that's in their, the chickens nesting boxes and in the rabbits cages in the winter time. Um, and all of that mixes together and it becomes dirt after you let it sit for a while. 
So this pile looks a lot like straw and hay for right now um, with some poop mixed in. But after a few months of sitting and composting um, with some worms in there, it'll turn into straight dirt that we can put right onto our garden that is free, which is nice, um, but it also is really um, nutrient dense for our garden. So we're able to grow plants that are really healthy and strong, all from our food waste, our animal waste, um, all mixed together. Awesome. So yeah, so we just touched on a lot of different things here about food waste. So we touched on like where we get the food scraps. So we know we get them from our households. We know that restaurants create food scraps and that those can be used to feed the animals. We know that food scraps come from our garden sometimes, you know, when like birds come and pick at your garden a little bit and they leave behind all of these scraps those can go to animals too. So now we know all of that. We also know that these animals are creating fertilizer. And if you don't know what fertilizer is, that's the poop that these animals create. Um, and that those can be used in gardens and in compost piles to make healthy soil so that we can have healthy vegetables grow from our gardens. Um, and we also know some benefits of recycling food waste. We know that this keeps food waste out of the landfill. And if you've watched our other videos in the series, you know that food should never, ever, ever go in the trash. It should never go to the landfill because it causes um, pollution to groundwater. It causes leachate um, and it makes it bad for us to be drinking any of that water or for animals to be drinking that water. And it also creates greenhouse gases, which we know can warm the environment and the atmosphere and contribute to global warming. So we can save all of those issues by just giving our food scraps to some animals. And we know it's better for the animals. We know that they can have a better, more well-balanced diet by doing this. And we know that it's beneficial for our garden too, because compost and fertilizer helps our gardens grow to be healthy. So we've learned quite a few things here today. And I want to thank Lena for sharing this time with us and for being our friend here today. Do you have anything else? I don't think so. Thanks all for um, stopping by our farm. Of course. So if you get to go to a farm, ask them if they're feeding their animals food waste. And if you have animals at home safely and with your parents, you can talk about feeding food scraps to them as well. So yeah. Thanks. Guys.